Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So welcome to my morning routine. So the first thing I do when I get out of bed is obviously I turn my light on while my lamp and I make my bed. And I feel this is a productive way to start every morning as if your bed's made you just feel like you can get on with the rest of the day. And I just do a quick tidy up around my room also. I'm just putting things in place. Obviously, we've just recently moved into this house, so I don't have anything on the walls. And then I put my slippers on and I just open the curtains just so it's brighter. And I just sort out my windowsill because that's where I put all my random stuff. And I'm just sorting out my clothes on the radiator and rearranging them, which I didn't really do anything because I put clothes back on, but... I feel like I'm doing something. <laughs> and then the first thing I do is put my Fitbit on just because I don't wear it in my sleep because it's really uncomfortable so I just put it on my wrist ready for the day so I can start my steps. And then the next thing I do is get changed out of my pyjamas into my workout clothes. And today I was doing a workout for 20 minutes. Sometimes I do 10 minute ones on YouTube. Sometimes I do 20 minutes. It just depends what I feel like. And I just do no jumping. So I'm not jumping upstairs in my room. Occasionally I do do it in the lounge. But um, if my parents are up in the morning downstairs. I just prefer to do it in my room. And I would usually um, go for a jog as well. If I'm doing a 10 minute one. Um, but this one was quite intense and got me really sweaty. So after this, I just decided to go for a run around um, my front garden. garden like do some laps of that um basically every morning i try and do at least 2000 steps on my fitbit and burn some calories just to get my heart rate going and feel like i've actually done something if i don't end up going on a walk later This is a really weird clip, me just running around. And then it's really important to get hydrated. So I fill up my water bottle. <laughs> And then I have my breakfast, so today I was having special case cereal with Alpen on top and milk and ate orange juice and then watching Beauty Spectrum vlogs as well. Um, she was doing a swap with Eve Bennett's day, which was very interesting, I really enjoyed. And obviously now I'm just washing my face, I'm using the Neutrogena Oil Balancing Face Scrub Wash. And this is really nice because it has aloe vera in. And then I'm just rinsing it off my face and drying my face again and using the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish with the hot cloth. So I just put like two squirts of that on my hand and I tend to massage it for at least sort of one minute. Otherwise, I feel like it doesn't do anything.
do is I get the muslin cloth that Liz Earl comes with and I just wet it with hot water and sometimes I wet the whole thing with hot water and just hold it over my face as like a steam cloth and then I splash my face with cold water as this closes all the pores so once you've cleaned your skin you should always close the pores in a certain way and just get a clean cloth and just dab it dry and then I brush my teeth I'm just using Colgate toothpaste and I do like to wait to brush my teeth I know some people brush them before they eat their breakfast but I just don't get the logic in that I would just prefer to do it after and then I am um, take my pill and my multivitamins and iron and today I needed to sort my eyebrows out and my upper lip so I did a bit of DIY facial um, spa home day thing <laughs> because you can't go to a beautician so that's great isn't it and then I use my proactive hydrator which is a moisturizer and I really like this because it's not too thick and it's really good um, for my skin and then I use my Dove this is the medium I've obviously showered by the way <laughs> this is the medium tanning lotion and I'm doing this every day either before I go to bed or in the morning just depending on what I feel like and I just put that all over my body and it's a gradual tanner so I'm not really pale in the winter months and then I'm curling my eyelashes And I'm putting some Vaseline on my lips. I'm having a no makeup day today because I'm just mainly doing uni work. So I don't have anywhere to go or anything. So I'm in leggings as well. And then I just put some Jack Wills body spray on. I'm not using perfume because there's no point in a pandemic when I don't do anything <laughs> or go anywhere nice. And I obviously brush my hair. I'm using my Tangle Teaser, which is from B&M, and I'm very happy with it. It wasn't a hair wash day today, but if it was, I would be drying it right now. And I'm also listening to Sophia and Chintzia's podcast, The Girls' Bathroom. And finally, I just finish by looking at what I need to do for the day and looking at my to-do list I wrote the night before and just setting out the day, really. And that is my morning. Um, so this took up till, this takes up till sort of 10 o'clock, um, 11 o'clock. Um, I do tend to wake up at between 7.30 to 8.30, depending on when I've been to bed the previous evening, and also depending on if I have lectures, obviously my morning looks very different to this, if I have a 9am, um, but this was a day when I didn't, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy guys, and if you did, give a thumbs up and comment below what your morning routine looks like as a uni student, I'm doing online learning. I will be sure to read all your comments. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye.